Hey guys, I go by the name Swag Zai. If you don't know, now you know. I'm an artist and a fashion enthusiast, and I'm here with Blueprint Africa TV to answer some questions about Lagos. Let's get to it. Um, I think nice life, basically the entertainment, because Lagos is like the entertainment hub of, to be honest, Africa. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. So yeah, that actually like influenced my persona as a person, the entertainment side of it. Because Lagos don't sleep. Lagos is like one of the cities in Africa that don't sleep. 24-7, we are up. So yeah, definitely that has influenced me as a person over the years. Um, uh, the thing that I think I would never catch a Lagosian doing is coming down. Lagosian never calms down. Like everyone, like uh, a Lagosian, a typical Lagosian has switch mode, can switch from a calm person to an aguero instantly. So yeah, a Lagosian will never calm down. Um, uh, uh, my wildest nightlife experience in Lagos is probably going to seven locations in one night. I think that happened like, probably I think last year December or something. Because December periods are always fun. Like, in fact, if Lagos doesn't sleep, December period, in fact, everybody's like very up. So I think that's one of my wildest nights. From the beach to the restaurant to the show to the concert, everything. Like the old day was just from one location to another location, having fun. I think that was like one of my wildest like time ever in Lagos. I will attend both, to be honest with you, man. I'm going to attend both. Probably if it's because obviously Bona is going to come past 12. We know that that if a show in Lagos is going to be held the night, it's going to it's definitely the next day. So I will split myself my time. Probably I'll attend Bona 12 to 2, then Machala 2 to 4. Yeah, I'll definitely attend both because nah, that combination is nothing to be missed out. Like, nah, nah, I don't think I'll ever miss anyone. The truth and not smiling, basically, I feel like everyone in Lagos is hustling. Everyone in Lagos is, is, has, that, has this hustling spirit. So it's like, yo, everyone wants to get, like, to, like, the big goals and everything. Like, in Lagos, literally, everyone, everyone is rushing to, like, no, like, everyone is rushing to, I don't even understand. Like, when you're on the street of Lagos, everyone is rushing to this one point or the other. So the street are not smiling, basically, mean like, oh, more, nobody. See, everything in Lagos, eh? Lagos is like one of the places that, if you want to ask someone for something, you have to say, please, first. Probably in an ATM kiosk, like, please, is someone behind you? Please, is someone, because, oh, more, everyone is vexing, the atmosphere is chaotic. So no one is smiling with you in Lagos, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, first of all, I was actually very stupid for me wanting to attend Lasso when I was in secondary school. Because I used to think that, ah, you know, like people, they are proud now. I don't want to go to Unilag because uh, this video really too. I want to go to Lasso. I think that's quite better or something. Yeah. Um, well, I would definitely differentiate Unilag. First of all, entering inside Unilag, I'm not trying to hype Unilag because it's my school. I attended BSc, I did my MSc there or something. But like, trust me, when you enter Unilag from the you don't even need to walk one minute from the gates for you start. At least out of ten girls, at least eight out of ten girls are fine as in lag. But Lasso, I probably mean to Lasso probably three times or something. Lasso, uh, sorry Lasso, Lasso I or I don't know what you guys are called, but like nah, if I enter in lag, um, Lasso probably two. Out of 10 girls, maybe, maybe. I thought it was just two out of 10 girls, so it's just, mm, mm, they're there. But now, nah, you know, a lot of girls are, are the flyest. Yeah, flyest, flyest. No cop. I saved my foot chest. <music> to me, I would say it's a gender, like, it's a separate gender thing. Yeah. And I'll start with the female part. Yeah. I feel like friendships in Lagos for female parts are mostly fake. In terms of, it's actually not really, really genuine. You see a girl wants to be friends with this girl based on, she go out a lot, she wants to be popping on her snap, so she wants to be friends with her. Not genuinely, maybe she because she likes her or something, probably because 
they will waka 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 together and you know they will meet one rich nigga or something or whatever so i feel like for the female aspect now nah, or maybe ah, this girl like dressing i'll be able to borrow a wig i'll be able to do this and go out and sleep so it's actually not really 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 genuine for the female part then for the male part yeah i feel like to an extent it's quite genuine because to be honest here yeah, friendship see something about guys here yeah, you might meet a guy yeah, conversing with him for like the whole day and you don't know this guy, guy's name ah boss chama or something you meet that guy you, See, I've had friends or acquaintances that we have met a couple times and I don't know their name. Crocs. I, I, I honestly don't like Crocs. I don't, honestly don't know why you wear Crocs on probably trout or something. Like, it's a thing that they wear Crocs to even events. Like, well, not even events, like probably nice level, like one day or something. Like, the Crocs epidemic in Lagos. I'm not shading Crocs. Crocs, please, you can give my ambassador shit. I'll say two of my records um, actually inspired by Lagos. One of them, I'll say Kunkun Below, which is on my first project. That was my first um, EP in 2019. Because Lagos, Yoruba people, let me to be precise, because like this is the way, sort of. So, Yoruba people to be precise, eh, they love to party. Lagos in general, but you see the Yoruba people, yeah, they love to party. Yoruba people will use a party to celebrate the success of another party. Like, like it is so amazing to experience. I'm telling you, like they'll block the road for everybody. Like, so um, I feel like that that record is actually inspired by because it's a Konko Bilo record. It had like percussions on it, the drums, the electric guitar, the lead guitar rather, and all like that. So that record was actually inspired by that Lagos One Bay life. Then I'll say. Another one mm, is my my recent record, which is called I Don't Know, or my recent EP, which is apparently my third EP um, that I dropped about like a couple of weeks ago. The record is basically about a playboy lifestyle, yeah? So in Lagos, like I said earlier on, we are sharing ourselves in Lagos. Literally, everyone is sharing. Everyone is just pretending like we're not sharing ourselves in Lagos, but we are literally sharing ourselves in Lagos. And that record was basically inspired by how like there's no love in lagos you see if you are looking for love don't even try it in lagos i mean yeah your relationship in lagos people are just with your time because we are watching ourselves in lagos and that record was actually inspired on how i don't know what this girl wants from me what she think we we have or something basically is about like me being in that toxic playboy mode based on the way lagos girls have showed me pepe because I've also chopped breakfast a couple of times. Lagos girls, don't worry, they'll serve you hot. And I think yeah, that record was basically inspired by the life, the youth's life generally in Lagos. How oh, this girl is dating this other guy and dating this other guy and stuff like that. So, yeah. And it was the Unilag girl. The Unilag that I've been praising, it was the Unilag. You see, Unilag girls will show you paper. See, they are the, well, I say they are the poster. Poster children for breakfast. Let me just as you speak. So my hardest outbreak would be, yeah, I, I, I can't vividly remember, but probably some sometime in 2018 or 2019. 2019, I think so, or something. So you know, that girl, mm, you know, as the breakfast is served, she. I don't want to go into it because I will get so emotional in this in this interview. So let me just put it like. It was a thing of, in fact, that, that project here, yeah, my guys that we stayed together in you know, like, their stories were, were like infused in my stories too as well, because they, like we shared the outbreaks to, together. That same semester, like, everybody just call it their own, call it their own. For mine, it would be, ah, uh, going through a phone, never, ah, oh, God. See, see, that is the first thing that you never want to do in Lagos, to for a Lagos girl, don't go through a phone. See, it's better for you to just die in silence that she does die going through that phone because if you go through that phone, <laughs> anything you see with your eyes collected like that, or don't go through the girl's girl phone. No. So yeah, I went to go and shoot myself. Different things. Inter um, Oriental Hotel. Intercontinental Hotel. Magudu. You see that W bar, eh? That W bar. Ah, oh, God. See, going through our phones, a snap. You know how they would delete things on that media now. 
Why is it a snap? That snap, Fiji's. In my perspective, yeah, I'll say what it means to have a Lagos eye is knowing where to get some things. Or, 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 okay, I'll start with knowing some certain places to pass. There are some places to pass that you are not, you are not supposed to pass in this Lagos. First of all, as a young boy, yeah, there are some certain places in this Lagos that are not actually. I'm not going to give you guys the code now, but let me just put one location in Allen. Yeah, see, if you are going to Ikeja or something, if I go and follow long route to, to if I, there are some places in Lagos you pass, people will stop you and delay you for unnecessary, even like if they are clean or whatsoever. There are some places you are not supposed to pass in this Lagos. That's one. And there are some places that if you want to get some things, they say that Momo, they go boutique. There are some places that if you want to get some things, don't worry. When you get to that point, you say everything that you're looking for there. It could demote as an example, so as well, for certain kind of things. Having an eye also will be knowing your way around Lagos. Yeah, knowing your way around Lagos in terms of, um, I would say by default, you living in Lagos, uh, you have to be smart. You can't be caught off guard. That's why I say like, anyone that stays uh, in Lagos for a couple of years, trust me, you can survive anywhere in the world. I used to hear that they used to compare New York to Lagos or something. Nah, if you can survive in this Lagos, this Lagos, so you survive anywhere in the world, trust me. I'll say Lagos, yeah. Uh, Lagos, a cool in Baje, as we all know. Definitely, Lagos is, I'll say Lagos is one of a kind. Like, like I said, Lagos is literally like the best city in in africa so i'll say lagos like that that one city that you get anything in the world here in lagos like if you drop a car today trust me come to the island you will see you will see that car if you they drop a phone they drop any like innovation anything they say tesla when they were tesla 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 you know, right you will see it on lagos road if i do you, <laughs> you see it different places like lagos is it was a special place because um, definitely I would say things are here. Yeah, I think it's Lagos that you get by with anything. Once you have money in this Lagos, trust me. You, they used to say, oh, if you have money in Lagos, that can't fall on top of your head or something, 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 something. Don't worry. If you have money in this Lagos, you don't even need to leave your house. Somebody will get something from you anywhere. Like, Lagos is a special place. And I will say maybe the bad things about Lagos or uh, one of because there is no place in the world that don't, doesn't have like the pros and the cons. So I'll say um, it is the overriding or the pressure or no, I would say the pressure. I'll say is the every man just wants to like show off to his like his fellow man. Even like even this one doesn't have money in the account or something. Once they, they just have a small power, look at last man for example. Ah, just those people on uniform. Like once you probably like did a mistake or if you like they probably just made that mistake that you should just do that mistake they'll show power like everyone just wants to use that little power that you have over the next man and it's really really bad to be honest so i feel like that's like one of the bad things about Lagos or something yo guys this was super super amazing i had fun the questions were really 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 tricky but i love them to be honest like this was really really um interesting um lagos like they said, one of a kind of cooling budget. Yeah, I go by the name Swagzai. If you don't know, now you know. My new project, Diamonds in Broken Hearts, is hot right now, buzzing. Go get it, it's hot on every platform. Big shout out to Blue Prince Africa TV, the best. Keep it locked. And, I, and I'm sure you enjoy my episode. By default, I'm sure you enjoy my episode. Thank you for watching. <laughs>